Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Molly with the Brooks Museum and today I've got a brand new lesson for you. We are going to be creating our very own sketchbooks using old books. This is a way of upcycling. So instead of going and buying a new sketchbook, which sketchbooks can be pretty pricey, what I've done is I actually went to a garage sale and found this book and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can take maybe an old book or a torn or damaged book and how you can actually use this to create your very own upcycled sketchbook. Now the first things that you're gonna need to get started, first of course, is an old book that it is okay to paint and draw in. So you definitely wanna make sure that you check with your parents to make sure that they are okay with you drawing and painting in this book. The next thing you're gonna need are some clips. This is gonna help to keep this book open while we're working in it so that it doesn't fold shut, especially if there's some wet paint involved. You don't want that big mess on your hands. So I actually have a chip clip and I have some small binder clips I'm gonna use. And then you're going to want to get some gesso. You can, you can find this for pretty cheap. I got this bottle for about $8 but this is way more than I'm ever going to need. So I'm gonna be able to use this for many projects to come. Also going to want some paint brushes, some paint, some washi tape if you have it, or you can just use some painter's tape. Scotch tape is fine. You're gonna want scissors, some water, and then something to draw with, whether it is paint pens. I have some brush pens and watercolor markers. I also just have some really fun brush pens to use. You can use markers, crayons, paints, whatever you want. And then I also have some paint that I'm gonna use, which this is actually called gouache, which is a type of paint. It's somewhere between an acrylic and a tempera paint as far as the finish and the look. So I'm gonna be using this, and then of course, my good old pencil. So let's get our sketchbook ready to draw in. So I'm gonna set all these supplies to the side, and I'm going to open my book. And I think I'm gonna fold this page. because this is something else that you can do in your book. So I'm gonna fold this page so that it almost points in the direction in which this is gonna go. And I'm just gonna use some of my fun washi tape and that's just gonna point me in the direction that I'm going. So the very first thing that I've done is folded this. So this is going to be my very first page. And I can decorate this however I want, but this is just going to be a fun little entry into my sketchbook. Now this next page is going to be where I'm gonna put my name and information so that if this happens to get lost, then it gets back to me. So I'm just gonna take some of my gesso, put a little bit on this plate. And then instead of using my clamps for this one, I'm actually gonna use a rubber band and I'm gonna take this rubber band and just wrap it around my book so that it holds this page flat so it doesn't come over onto this one, especially while I have the gesso on it and it's wet. And now I'm just gonna take my brush. Gonna wet that a little bit. Squeeze any excess water off. You do not want, you do not want this to be a very wet surface. And now, before I gesso, one of the reasons why I told you to use washi tape is this is going to be 
a way to get a nice crisp line when you're painting and it'll stop the paint from getting all over the place. But then it's also really pretty, so if you wanted to use this on some of the pages that maybe you're gonna do some collage work on, this works really nice for that as well. Press that down. And all that gesso is, is it's, it's like a type of primer. So if you've ever bought a canvas in the store and you notice that the canvas is white, that is gesso. Now this will take some layers to be able to cover up everything. The beauty of this is, is that I don't really like to cover up all of the words. Now for this title page, I do want to cover up more of the information just because I feel like it's very distracting, but the smaller words, the smaller print on the other pages, oftentimes I'll paint right over those or draw right over those and even incorporate them into my design. But for this type of situation, I do want to cover it up. So I'm going to just put a layer on, let it sit for a minute, add some more and I'll just keep adding layers and until I get a nice thick coating so that you can't see so much of the words. I don't mind if a little bit shows through, but I definitely don't want to be distracted by the words while I'm painting. Okay, so I have gessoed this first page. You can barely see anything through that right now. So we're gonna leave this here to dry now, while it's drying, I am going to take this little binder clip and I'm just gonna clip the corners of my book. To some of the additional pages, just because I'm working outside right now. And so I don't want the wind to blow this closed while it's drying. So I'm gonna leave, leave this, let it dry. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start to decorate our sketchbook. Okay, so now that my pages are dry, I'm going to unclip these, and then I'm just going to pull my washi tape down and see how it leaves this great crisp line. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Oh, it's so satisfying. One. Perfect. All right, so now that I have this nice crisp line, of course you can still see a little bit of that ink underneath. I'm okay with that. I'm actually going to be painting over this, so it does not bother me at all. I even had a little bit of my gesso make it off the top of my washi tape right there. Again, not gonna sweat the small stuff, guys. I'm gonna just have fun with this. So. Since this is going to be my sketchbook, I'm going to put my name on it. And I think for this, I'm going to use one of my paint markers. And I'm just going to write my name. just simple and then I'm going to decorate around this so I'm just going to start with a little bit of paint on my plate and just start to decorate around my name
Now, if you're worried about painting outside of the lines that your washi tape has left, leave your washi tape on until you're completely done with everything. I just jumped ahead because I wanted to show you the clean lines of the washi tape, but I do recommend leaving that washi tape on until you are completely done with your painting. That way you don't have to be so precise and worrying about it going over the edge. But for this demonstration, I was just too excited. I had to show you. So that just means I'm gonna have to be extra careful when painting, and that's okay. Okay, I've got my first page done. And now I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before because I'm outside. I'm just gonna put some clips on the corners so that this stays dry. And I'm gonna let this dry nicely and then it's time to get started on the rest of my sketchbook. And I'll tell you the other thing that I really love about the gouache paint is that it dries super fast. So then I can get back to making art very quickly. I'm going to show you guys a couple of other different ways that you can work in these sketchbooks. Another way that you can cover up the pages is by doing a collage. So these are just envelopes from junk mail that I have gotten. But I really liked the patterns on here. Like I love this pattern. I love these florals. So I'm going to cut these up and actually create a little collage on the back of this page. And that will even help strengthen that page even more. So I cut up both of these envelopes because I really loved this pattern and I really loved these florals. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to cut out these florals so that they're each individual little flowers. Then I'm gonna piece them together and put them onto my scrapbook page. So then I'll have just individual little flowers like this and I can glue these down onto my page. But I'm going to keep cutting these out and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, so I've cut out a bunch of those flowers that were on that envelope. And I was looking through my house trying to find my glue and I cannot find my glue anywhere. So at this point, I could do tape, or I actually found, so I actually found Mod Podge, which is gonna work great for this. So I use some of my, some of my markers, and I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna draw right over these words. I'm just gonna have fun with it. Don't worry about if it's perfect. Just enjoy yourself. And the more you add to this, the less you're going to even see the words. Come in here, add some different geometric shapes, some different types of lines, maybe put in some of your own flowers. And then when you are ready, you can take some of the designs or some of the elements that you've cut out, the papers, and just collage these and just kind of move them around see where you think they work the best and then you're just going to add these in to your artwork so I'm going to play around with this glue them down and then I'll show you the finished product
So I've got my flowers in here. I want to make sure that these pages don't blow up onto them, so I'm going to clip that side, and then I don't want this to close up on that one, so I'm going to also clip this side. And now that can dry. So at this point, I could come back in if I wanted to, and I could add some more flowers. I could cut out some more flowers. I could use different papers. I could come in and take part of that pattern that I really liked and draw something here, write some words on this. That's what's so fun about this type of sketchbook is it really becomes almost like a journal for you. So not only are you going to be drawing and painting in this, but you can also write your thoughts on this. If you drew something on another piece of paper, you could actually cut it out and then paste it into this book. Like sketchbooks are where you're supposed to make mistakes. It's supposed to be where you plan your thing, plan your art out. It's where your thoughts go. It's where you have permission to mess up. And so I hope that you find this very freeing as opposed to a project that has to be perfect. So while this side is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on drawing on this side. So for this one, I'm gonna start with my pens and markers. Now, if, when you're working on your sketchbook, you turn the page and you see that it's bled through on this side. These are the great pages to then, if you have drawings that you've done on other paper, to just cut those down and you can glue them onto this back side. Now, for me, this doesn't really bother me. You can also, another thing you can do if you wanted to, is you could staple these two pieces together so that when you turn it, it's a little bit cleaner. But again, it doesn't really bother me. So, and I don't even mind this, these little marks right here because I can always incorporate those into my artwork. I hope you guys had fun making these. I love making these upcycled sketchbooks. They're so much fun and it's so freeing knowing that I only paid 50 cents for this. So I'm not worried if my pages aren't perfect. And that's okay. That's what you need your sketchbook to be. So I hope you guys will go out and make one of these. If you do and you share it on social media, be sure to tag us. I would love to see your creations. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.